Well, hello. We're back. Quite fun. Quite merriment. On the bright side, something unique has happened that we have not seen before in Danganronpa. On the downside, we hate it. Yeah, Tanko died, and that's terrible. It's strange, though. I, I feel as though... I understand this particular game doesn't like to linger on emotional moments other than Kaede, and immediately just throws the Mono Cubs at you, which to, and to have like an extended comedy scene, which diffuses the tension really well. But it and it is unique, I guess. But it it, it kind of ruins the uh, mourning process, maybe. Yeah, the emotional oomph of of the events. Except for after the trials, of course. But I mean, I, I I do think that that is a mistake. Quite frustrated. It's the first time the character in this slot, if you will, has died. Of course, she's also one of our favorite characters, which makes it one of the first times that one of our favorite characters has died. Yeah. Which is not something that has happened. You know, most most every chapter. We've spent, like, an inordinate amount of time with her, including this one. So I guess this means that Danganronpa V3 is essentially an extended let's beat the crap out of the vulnerable little girl game. Yeah. Ah, sadism. Speaking of sadism, we're the bittersweet gamers. I, I don't really have my heart in it. Sorry. I'm the opinionator. Nine we square. The worst part is that it doesn't even matter if we find her killer or not, because all we have to do is find Angie's. That's how the ruling went. Maybe the same one, may not be. I don't know if we're gonna solve it. Wouldn't that be interesting if we do not solve it? Yeah, yeah, because that means that we know there would be, there'd be a killer amongst us. Yeah, just like how we were surprised with the first blood perk and thought it was such a great idea. Well, I guess we're gonna get the first blood perk thing plot situation after all. Maybe, maybe. Unless it was the same killer, which again, still think it was Konekyo for both. I agree, I so, agree. New information can change all of that. But here's the thing. We're about to officially read the, the second version of the Motokuma file here, but uh, the victim was stabbed in the back of her neck. Yeah the back of her neck. Yes. She was in a turtle position. Correct. It happened in the room we're in. Yep. In the dark. Anyway, let's get on with it. it it's like, as I've gotten older, somehow I've gotten uh, not quite as soft and weepy about this whole process, but in fact, full of more rage. Just angry. I suppose it also has a lot to do with the fact that this is like the fifth entry in the franchise, so that's that's probably it. Anyway, enough grousing. Speaking of grouses, we're a bunch of old fogies. Don't project too hard there, man. The victim is Tenko Chabashina, the ultimate Aikido master. The body was found in the middle empty room on the fourth floor. The time of death is approximately 11 a.m., the only visible injury is a stab wound to the back of the neck. Doesn't it look like there's a text window or something in the picture? Yeah. Like over, oh, that's a, a shadow in the room we're in over the monopad. Ah, okay, mystery solved. Well, it looked weird. And it I did, had, it did. I had to get to the bottom of it. Hmm. The stab wound on her neck the same as Angie's cause of death. Hmm. It doesn't look like a coincidence. Maybe it's Angie's curse. Okay, Kokichi, the adults are talking. Go along and play. He's trying to enjoy himself and have fun. And I hate him for it. Oh, huh? curse? Well, Kokichi didn't do anything. He didn't kill anybody. Uh, yeah, I know. <laughs> Jeez. God, not again. Ah! Curse! Hey! Another body is about to be discovered. What? Curse! Kaido, calm down. 
No way there's a curse! Don't screw around! You're the one who's screwing around. Do you want to die? <laughs> <laughs> yep. He earned that. It may have been worth it. Maybe. A dull sound reverberated throughout the room. He's been thrown in Tanko's honor, degenerate male. <laughs> uh! Oh, wow. Oh, she punched him. Are you okay? My bad. My bad, Shuichi. I'm starting to feel bad, but for a different reason. Blood, 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 blood. I'm gonna get some more fresh air, so I'll leave this to you and Maki roll. Was it worth it? Yes. Kaito left the room, still a bit wobbly. Um... Should we resume the investigation? Time is of the essence. That's correct. True. As Damon has complained incessantly since the event occurred, we haven't time to mourn Tenko's death, as our own lives are at risk. This is... Th that's true, but Angie and then Tenko. <laughs> and to think earlier, I was suspicious of Tenko. I'm sorry, Tenko. How can this be? It's all Gonta's fault. Gonta failed to protect friends again. Like I said, Gonta, your strange way of taking responsibility, it's not doing anyone any favors. Uh, who, who's even here? Are we missing someone? Oh, that's Shuichi, okay. I mean, it's just ten people. It, uh... Well, Kaito left. Yeah, and Shuichi's not on the list, so... I was going to say, somebody, just, just take Himiko and leave. Yeah. Who's that gonna be? Uh, Tsubugi? And, and how would Himiko react? No, get away from me. Yeah, I know, I know. Maybe it should be Gonta or Kaito. Maybe so. Probably not a girl, yeah. Yeah. But she needs to go. She she can't be here. She can't be here. Tenko's death caught us all off guard. Everyone is panicking. I have to keep it together. I have to work harder. Because... Because I'm a detective. This is what I'm for. Well... It's too dark in here. We can't investigate, even if we wanted to. Got it. Going to bring candles from other room to make this room bright, okay? I guess it's better than nothing, but can we just can we just get some flashlights? Yeah, yeah. Huh. No, that won't be necessary. Very good, very good. Robots are equipped with lights and speakers and microphones and stuff. Ah. Uh. Yeah, that's not necessary at all. Huh? Huh? Why? Haha, <laughs> the you tell him, Kibo. Listen up! Show him, Kibo! Show him your new power! Did she install an upgrade to him? Yeah, I guess she upgraded him with a light. <laughs> new power. Is it really the time for this? Whoa! His eyes lit up! Koshinoku Beam! Despa Sight! I, Mui Ruma, the gorgeous girl genius, have installed a new function in Kibo. Help, I can't see! Just leave it to me. I will become the guiding light that shines on you all. <laughs> <laughs> shine on, shine on! Shine on, you crazy fucking diamond! Oh, man. Man, what a lame function. You should have given him, like, a transformation function or something, because I promise you this is not what the original line <laughs> said. Henke <laughs> Kino or something like that. Remember, Kokichi actually wants Mazinger Z. Yeah, 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 yeah. Not a transformer. Yeah. It's okay. 
But it's bright now, so we should hurry and investigate. Yes, please do. My optical receptors will burn out at this rate. Okay. Yeah, you're right. Uh! Huh. Okay? I suppose we might end up having to use that to prove that it wasn't him. Ah. Sorry, I, I was just thinking... I was just thinking on how it's going to go, but I suppose... I was just projecting an idea of possible victims into the future th th for the rest of the game. Mm -hmm. And so I'm not going to say what those are because I think it's actually fun to do the thing at the beginning of the chapter. I agree. Though it'll never happen this way again. I guess we weren't completely right. Well, we weren't completely wrong. Well, probably. We got one of the four things right, guaranteed. Yeah. It's just normally there's only two. <sighs> Also, we're now unbalanced. Yeah. Well, anyway. <laughs> I said things that made Tenko look suspicious, and now this. I'm sorry, Tenko. Stop it. Cry later. What? Huh? Because. Crying won't bring Tenko back. And if we don't investigate thoroughly, we'll die too. Okay. I need to find the truth and pin down the culprit for Tanko and all of us. I guess. You're right. Tanko would want us to figure it out so she'd have no regrets. That's exactly what she'd want, yeah. That would be the best way to apologize. Well... Do these floorboards seem a little unstable to you? They're tough to walk on. Uh, um... The floorboards aren't nailed down. They're just lying on top of cross pieces. Honestly, in, under different circumstances, we could have had a pretty amusing comedy routine up here <gasps> with everyone walking around and... Getting blighted in the face by a floorboard? That's what Gota told me. That's probably the reason they're a little unstable. By the way, do you know what's downstairs? <laughs> hmm. They've only been laid on top. That's why they're unstable. Well. Well, the boards are fairly thick and sturdy. I can't imagine they'd come loose easily. Is this? But if someone wanted to remove a floorboard, they could easily do so, right? Okay. Yes, I suppose. And that is what happened over there. Yeah. Somebody needs to take her away. She shouldn't be here. She shouldn't be here. It's too much. It's not it's not fair to her. Hey! Hibiko! Hey, Hibiko! Be strong, Hibiko! You're not helping, man. Yeah, that's exactly what I was about to say. That's that's cute and all, and his heart is in the right place, but... Wait! Gonta, if you shake Himiko that much, she's going to break! But... But she's not talking! It's like Himiko not even here! Dude! I know. Like I thought. She must have been really shocked over Tenko. Let's leave her be for now. Tsumugi, you're not gonna actually help in the investigation anyway. Uh, yeah? Can can you go find Kaito and just all sit together or something with Himiko? Yeah! Mm. Oh, okay. Yeah, she's not gonna do anything. Himiko. You don't really recover from this. Yeah. I mean, you can. It would, it would be nice if she could, but... Realistically, this is too much of a shock. Why? First Angie, then Tenko. How can this be? Gonta's so ashamed. Why Gonta no could protect friends? That cannot be. Why? Why did this? I knew it. Kyo. I know the murder was pretty shocking. But of course. Of course, I am shocked about that as well. But why did the seance fail? What? Probably because the spirit medium done got murdered. 
we performed all of the steps flawlessly. He seems more concerned by that than the murder, but he's not quite stable. He's just not a fool and is very calm normally. And so that can get him, uh, that can make up for the instability. Yeah, yeah. He himself said in chapter one that he's capable of murder. Yeah. And he certainly doesn't believe in right and wrong and volunteered as much on his own. You can't say that he's ever really denied that he's capable of doing something like this. Right. Well, I mean, what do you expect is going to happen? Ah, yes. Oh, if we perform the caged child again and summon Tanko spirit this time. No! This is stupid. Cut the crap. Just tell me what happened during the seance. Both you and Shuichi were present, right? Did she get killed during the seance? Yeah, that's the only time she could have gotten killed. I see, yes. True. It may be best to move past what happened to know why the seance failed. Is that so? Whatever, just hurry up. At the time, in order to begin the seance, we had Tenko, the spirit medium, position herself as a turtle within the magic circle. So her head touched the marker stone. And was thus in the exact spot I wanted it to be in. Yeah, you, I mean, <laughs> you can make an accurate strike when you have placed the victim. Yes. Now, I, I understand that we've been told that there are no long weapons because Maki doesn't like swords. We'll get over it once we get in that lab and see, but I swear there were long weapons. Yeah, yeah. But um, having said that, so this was the only long weapon, presumably, so that's why it was used to be long enough to be able to hit the door and yep. unlock it from the inside, right? Yep, 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 yep. Okay, well, we need something long to go through the sheet unnoticed yeah. into the place where she's going to be. But it had to have happened. It had to have happened here. Yeah, she was alive when we started. But where would he, and where would he have hidden, where would he have hidden the weapon? Exactly. I'm like, I'm pretty sure I figured this one out. We were expecting right. to get some more information and then something else happened. Well, we'll get to that. If it was Konekio who did both, did he use the katana and display it so prominently in the other room so there there wouldn't be another one? So that there was no weapon that could be attributed mm. to let... Because if he had a katana, he could stab her right here. Right, right, right. Because he has her X marks the spot with the forehead on the stone. But if there's no other katana... Yeah. Then he couldn't have... He, he would have had to have come up with another one somewhere. Right, right, right. Then Shuichi and Kokichi placed a cage over Tenko. And after that, I placed the white cloth over the cage. But wait, Konekio says, in order to avoid the curse, dark spirits, appease, etc., we have to do this in the exact same order we did before. So the only person who gets close to this thing to take it off is Konekio, so he can't see that there's a hole in it. I see. Or so that, so okay. that no one else can see there's a hole yeah, in it. Yeah, yeah. Then all four of us placed the wooden statue of the dog god atop the cage. Afterwards, we stood in the four corners of the room. Kokichi and Shuichi blew out the candles. Yes. Finally, we all sang the caged child song. The seance should have been complete, but... Ah! Oh. Uh, now that you mention it, and it sounds crass to say it this way, because of course you would have noticed, uh, I remember hearing a strange sound during the song. We, I mean, we thought that it, like, collapsed. Collapsed. That's not the sound of the floorboards moving. 
No, that isn't the sound of a floorboard moving. That is the sound of something smashing. What the hell was that then? I mean, maybe that was the sound of the floorboards, like, moving, but that's a horrible sound to use, because that is not what it in, like, that's not the image that it puts in your head. Also, I guess I'm not really sure how he moved the floorboards, but I I'm sure he could have done something. I really want to look in those other two rooms. Same here, same here. I want to see if the floorboards are in the exact same shape. Yeah, who's the one who recommended the Himiko. middle Himiko, it was Himiko. If the floorboards in the others are are not loose, then that does kind of like take Korekio out of the equation here, doesn't it? Maybe. I guess it's possible that he could have just taken advantage of the situation. Yeah. I mean, other than the Kibo from below, which doesn't make sense because of the where the wound was. Yeah. Like, it obviously wasn't Himiko. Yeah, she couldn't have stabbed her at the right angle from where she was in the room. I don't know about that. I mean, neither could Korekio then. Himiko and Korekio were both behind her. But she was facing to the left. Are you sure? 100%. You could tell by the positioning of the dog god statue. Okay, I, I don't know. I, I'm pretty sure I actually saw the door, and so it looked like where the camera was in that picture was behind. Oh, okay, let's... Like, like, facing it, but we'll we'll just wait and see. But anyway, it, it wouldn't have mattered... Um, Occam's razor is the guy who has the dang magic circle memorized, knows how to walk right up to it, yeah. knows how to move silently, is in control of the situation, can keep singing the song while he's doing it. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And is a sociopath enough to do this. Yes. So, it is a mystery to me as well. I thought someone may have tripped, perhaps. That was a pretty loud sound for someone tripping. Perhaps Keo knows something. Also, mad props to them for never breaking the song after they tripped. Yeah, right? <laughs> what do you mean? Oh god, we still have to ask Himiko about Angie. Because I... we need to find out what oh. she did after we left. And then what happened? Yes. Uh, we called out to her, but no reply came. I had Shuichi and Kokichi relight the candles. And then we removed all the items from within the magic circle in the opposite order. First, all four of us removed the dog god statue. Next, I took off the white cloth, and then... Himiko ran over to the cage, and the moment she lifted it... Hmm. Then it sounds like Tenko was definitely killed during the seance. No. But would it not be difficult in such darkness? Besides, she was inside the cage, yes? That's all well and good. But she was alive before the seance, and now she is not. The moment, the, <laughs> the look on <laughs> Billy's face. The, yeah, she talked, went in, she had a big inspiring speech. Then all the stuff was placed on top of her, the seance began. She even talked after all the stuff was placed on top of her before they started. Yeah, and when the lights came back on, she was dead. So when did she die <laughs> if not during the seance? Oh, it's, a, it's a mystery. You can't seriously argue that point. Wait, I've got it. Tenko was a ghost. Well, she is now. Then? Then when was she killed, genius? Well, that's... Uh, yeah, that is a strange claim to make. I see, yes. There is another problem. How? And that is, why ever did the seance fail? I simply cannot figure it out. Are you for real? No. Because she died. No, man. Of, of course he's not for real. This is absolutely a fake. Oh he knows the answer is that it failed because she died, he's, or that it couldn't have worked in the first place, he's, or, or he's, something. He's just trying to bamboozle them. By looking like a crazed person who's monomaniacal. Which he happens to be, so that helps. 
by constantly blathering to everyone who talks to him about this, about why the seance failed and how he can't figure it out, he avoids ever having to talk about what he was doing during the seance. Yeah. Again, it's all part of the performance. Perhaps. Maybe someone moved from their corner. Did someone else sneak in here? Unlikely. They would have been visible when the door was open. What's the point? Obviously, since the seance was clearly a sham. Maki never was one to pull her punches. Yeah, tell me about it. <laughs> but why does she need to pull her punches on Korikio here anyway? She doesn't. Punch it more. I mean, this would appear to be the gloat, 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 gloat moment of uh, anti-mysticism <laughs> that she would represent. See, look, that's the door. Yes. The statue is facing to the left. They put it so that it was facing towards uh, Tenko's back. Tenko is curled on her, curled down like a turtle, facing to the right of this shot. I promise you. <laughs> well, fair enough. We're not really arguing that it was Korekio who walked up and did it there anyway. Well, I, I guess it got placed that way precisely so Korekio would have the easiest shot. Um, are we getting too caught up in it being Korekio? Possibly. Possibly. I am having a hard time seeing who else it could possibly be for a variety of reasons, you know? What about the first? Okay, so it's not Kokichi when it comes to Angie. Right. Because Kokichi is, I promise you, Kokichi is going to be one of the main antagonists of the overall game. Yeah, I agree. So they're not going to off him in chapter three. Right. So it wasn't him. Correct. So he could get in the door. He could. Um, you assume that it's not Maki. Correct. Though I assume we're going to have to argue that ad nauseum during the trial. Yeah, probably. So who else could have gotten in there? Well, the only other people who could have gotten in there were members of the student council. Because they could have called to her and she would have let them in. Okay, so in, in that case, is there some reason that we should be clearing Kibo? I mean, I can't possibly see how he could have done it just because of who he is. You know? Well, even ignoring that, Kibo had the... How'd he get out? Well, the same... Okay. Yeah, the only, yeah it would have had to have been the katana trick. Yeah, okay. Uh... Now, granted, anyone could have thought of that. It's not like Kori Kiyo is the only one who would have thought, like, ah, I can also use... I can, I can use this to do the door wuhuki after yeah. I kill her. Like, anyone could have thought of that. Yeah, there's really no reason that couldn't have been Gonta, Kibo, or Tsumugi. We don't, we have a pretty good idea of how it happened, but we don't, other than it, than it seeming to line up theatrically. Right. It doesn't seem like there's any, there's not any evidence really at all of who it could have been. I mean, it only seems to make sense if you put them both together, right? Because, like, here, um, how could it have been anybody else? Um, uh, Maki in her own lab using, like, a uh, extendo knife. To stab that... her in the back of the head. Next. Yes, and she figured out that she was going to do that right there on the spot. Uh, yeah, come on. <laughs> yeah, that, that's, and she doesn't even know the details well, no, 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 she was there when Kokichi read them out. Okay, yeah, you're right, you're right, you're right. I mean, I just don't want to get too obsessed about Korekio, but... Well, the, the problem is, is that narratively speaking, it all points to him! Well, not only that, but but there's nobody else that even seems, yeah. that even seems remotely as plausible. Yeah! In terms of being able to do it, even if they're done by different people, then this one had to have been done by Korekio. Yeah! Everything just adds up. <laughs> this investigation is over and shut, and it's all thanks to me for giving Kibo his new function. Now then, Cunt Foo's killer is... Ah, shut up. Jesus Christ. 
is obviously one of you stupid assholes who signed up to do this bullshit seance in the first place. I mean, she's right, but she also no. needs to shut up. Yeah, that's vile. That, Swear to God. That language is vile. Dehumanizing, okay? Like, y'all understand that, right? It'd be one thing if she was just me, but by reducing people to a base animalistic function like that, gross. Well, it's not just that. It, I mean, look, maybe it's a bit different in the UK, but this is, this is like the second most vile word I can think of. Mm -hmm. You mm -hmm. just don't say that. Uh, well, no, not necessarily. Huh? Huh, seriously? The seance was clearly set up to lure her in and kill her. Now, we don't think that's true. It was set up to kill someone. Yeah, I just don't think the killer gave a damn who it was. Yeah, it didn't matter who it was. How could someone who wasn't in the room kill her? By moving the floor birds from blue. <laughs> and then then having a wire, long, sturdy wire, like a snake, like for plumbing, you know? Yeah. Yeah, okay. and, and, and attaching no. uh, a knife on the end and, no. and like running it through from below no. in Maki's lab. No. And, and then nobody's gonna hear the scraping on, I refuse. on the cage because of this long thing, because it's like a 50 foot long plumbing snake with a knife on it, and then you, I don't know how you stab someone like that exactly, but you do. Are you done? Yep. All right. Yep. Could it be? So you believe the incredibly controversial <laughs> point that Tenko was killed during the seance, even though she clearly was killed before the seance while she was still talking? Perhaps there are four mediums in Kurai. Are there <laughs> Fucking moron! There's no other possibility, shit for brains. My god, you don't even know that. I feel like Shuichi deserves this. Yes, he did. Think, Shuichi, think! How many mediums are there in Kudain? Okay, this is the ultimate 30% Kyoko is a ghost moment, and it's coming from Shuichi. I know. It's true that Keiko was alive before the seance began. This is the point of no return, Tenko. After this point, you mustn't speak. The next time you open your mouth, it will be Angie speaking through you. Understood. I will not say a word until the seance is over. Wait, I've got it. Rontaro was hiding up in the rafters with one of those, like, ninja things to, you know, that covers him, that makes him look like, he, like the ceiling, and then dropped down and did, like, a stealth kill with his katana, and then, then he like spider man back up and then put the ninja. So you're thing. suggesting Rontaro is currently hiding in the rafters? Yeah. Seems legit. I mean, you know, if we had a pyro, we could do a spy chat. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay, that's enough of that. Tenko answered Kyo. So at that point, she was most certainly alive. But when the candles were relit, after the seance, she had already been killed. Huh. Uh, when, when could she have died then? But I swear to God. That means she was killed in the dark. There is no other way to interpret it. A Tua damned idiot. <laughs> what time exactly was Tenko killed after the candles were blown out. <laughs> that time. Or you know what? Uh, during the song is the answer. Well, yeah. There's no other time it could have been. In the middle of the seance. 
Oh no, 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 no! No! You're not telling me. We're seriously going to have to fight this point. This is not really gonna be a big deal in the trial of figuring out when she was killed, was it? Oh, please. It doesn't, Come on. it doesn't matter if it's before the floorboard got moved. Why do we have to argue anything else? Why? Why is th this game isn't gonna make us do that, is it? Is it going to waste an entire trial on the most Parking inane point? Oh, it's gonna make us lie too about this point. The song starts, so everybody is distracted trying to remember yeah. and the song they just learned and sing the song they just learned and do the seance and, and falling into the atmosphere and they don't have their full mental powers going because they don't know the song. Yeah. And, and so it's singing. Korakio is the one who knows how the magic circle was set up and everything. He walks right up while still singing. Plow yep. does whatever he does to move the floorboard yep, yep, yep. and then just walks back. Yeah. That's what happened. That's what it happened. Yep. Can you argue anything else? Don't. I, I, oh! <laughs> All right. That's everyone. Time to investigate. Well, let's look at this thing. Huh. It's the wooden dog statue used in the seance. I believe it's called the dog god. What's that on the wall that the dog statue is looking at? That looks like something written in blood. It says, Toskete, help me, save me. Huh, was that there before? I don't... No, it wasn't. We wouldn't have been able to see it. Yeah, oh, yeah. Hmm. I mean, that's if it's not even translated into English, then it's just like, ooh, it's a spooky ghost. Oh, okay, okay, nothing to take, nothing to consider important then. Why, well, they, they put everything else in English. Why would they suddenly put this one bit on the wall? Fair enough, fair enough. During the seance, this wooden statue was on top of the cage. Uh, but isn't the door? Uh, no, the door is not where the path is. Tenko is facing, is kneeling face down, facing the path. Yeah. And here they are putting the, the dog statue on facing the opposite direction Tenko is. Okay, yeah, I guess so. Yeah. It took four of us to remove it. Hmm. This wooden statue is pretty heavy. If I remember correctly. Kyo said it was about 175 pounds. That's about the weight of two Japanese girls. What the hell kind of comparison is that? What? what do you know about girls? Have you even touched a woman besides your mother? Uh, um... <laughs> what? I held hands with Kaede. <laughs> I'm kidding. Anyway... Is this...? If this heavy thing was on top of the cage, then Tenko wouldn't have been able to get out easily. Uh, okay. Yeah, you're right about that. <laughs> That didn't sound like you were kidding earlier. Uh, yeah, because, uh, because also, of uh, course we would have to argue that she didn't move and do something herself. Yeah. Why do we have to argue the really stupid stuff? Oh, uh, well, because that's apparently what Danganronpa wants us to do. Can't we argue really complicated things like in Ace Attorney? No, that is verboten. Or is it gonna be like the last trial where we're gonna spend the entire time on like one kind of side-ish point and that's what all of our evidence is gonna be and then it's just gonna be a connect the dots uh, yeah, narrative yeah. where we don't even have any impact God, on it? I hope not. All right, now this part's important. It's the white sheet we used for the seance. If there's no hole in this, then we don't know. Well, he could have. Yeah, he could have easily just lifted it up. Yeah, never mind. I'm, I'm stupid. I'm stupid. This was placed on top of the cage. Korekio was the one who removed it. Is this. This cloth is pretty thick. It's similar to a window curtain, but it's completely opaque. And on the back. Oh! Look, there's a blood stain on it, right around the middle of the sheet. Oh yeah, that makes sense if she was stabbed in the back of the neck. 
from like the spatter. Mm -hmm. Or not, not, not spatter, but yeah, like pulling out the weapon. But, but no hole in the fabric. Which means Tenko wasn't stabbed through this cloth. But nothing would have stopped somebody from just lifting yeah. the curtain. Okay. She was stabbed while underneath the cloth. Uh, remember, we're looking for a weapon. Yeah. Well, I, it's possible we have something else that could be the weapon. What's inside there? It might just be solid wood. But that's a good question. That's a good question. Well, I mean, there, it could actually be the, like, press down and a blade comes out. Possibly. That possibly. seems odd to do, but... I mean, well, everything else about this case has been friggin' odd. Well, well what I'm saying is, if nobody looks, we're not going to find it. Yeah. And isn't that what the killer wants? Yeah, exactly. It doesn't seem to me that, especially entirely in the dark, and after having been instructed not to move no matter what, and that weird, spooky, supernatural stuff is going to happen... There's, what What is there to stop somebody from just lifting this up? I cannot. That's what I've been trying to do, is come up with a way in which that didn't have to be the case. Well, there isn't. <sighs> Furthermore, if Cordy Keo still has the implement on him, he could stab them, stab her, and then wipe it off with the sheet as he pulls it back out. Huh. Like in the same motion. You know, I had said that it mattered that Keo is the one who had to move the sheet, and it looks like I was right to point yeah, that out, yeah. you know, based on having this thing here. Um, I guess what, what I had said at the time was that it was the hole that he was trying to obscure, but actually it looks like it was the blood. Right. Again, making it pretty clearly Kota Keo, right? Yeah. So it could have just been a knife. Well, it still has to be a pretty long one, but... I mean, otherwise he'd get blood on his hand when he reached in to stab her, you know? <sighs> this is the cage used in the seance. Is this? It looks to be around three feet high and five feet wide. Okay, okay, no, it would have had to have been a sword or a spear yeah. or a long needle. Tsumugi! <laughs> oh no, they're on to me! <laughs> It's a pretty large iron cage. Okay. Big enough for a person to fit inside. During the seance, Kokichi and I covered Tenko with the cage. We were supposed to remove it as well. But it was Himiko who rushed in and removed the cage first. Hey. Hey, look at this. There's blood on it. Is this? Uh-huh. A blood stain on the bottom of the cage. Probably Tanko's blood, yeah? That's true. Yes, I imagine so. This spatter must have been made when she was killed. What do you mean? Which means, because we're going to have to fight so hard to establish it, <laughs> Tanko was killed while she was inside the cage. When was she inside the cage, David? Um, during the seance. <sighs> Why are we going to have to waste our time with this? And, and you know what? We're going to, like, miss one or two of these. Like, when it comes to the actual nonstop debates about them, because it's going to be about, like, the most pedantic point. <laughs> it's obvious this is the thing that, ought to, that everyone ought to just logic their way through, and then we use the debate stuff on the other things. How? How can somebody have thought it happened during a different time? How? And you know what? If it did happen <laughs> during a different time, I mean, my jaw is going to hit the floor. And I don't know if I'm going to be impressed or indignant or infuriated or what. I think your jaw is safe. Forgive me, but I think my job is safe. Yes, that's it. Yeah. Okay. I think you're right. <laughs> Tanko went under the cage before the seance. But when the cage was lifted after the seance, she was already dead. So she couldn't have died while she was still talking. <laughs> and she couldn't have died after she was killed. So it must have been... <sighs> okay, now here's, here's what you do see. Her head is not on the... Correct, she slumped over. She's no longer in the toidal position. 
Her body got moved by the board. I'm just seeing if there's some way we could have misinterpreted it. And I just don't have a problem with worrying about the mechanism of that board. How does not knowing precisely how the mechanism of this board being moved, how, how does that change what we've got? Uh, it doesn't, but we also don't really understand the significance of it yet. Well, right, we don't. But is there some significance about the timing of that board being moved that's going to completely change everything that we've... No. And I say thought of, but it doesn't seem like it's that hard to reason it through. No, I can't possibly see how. Again, my jaw will drop if we're wrong and she wasn't killed during this. <laughs> <laughs> there, there, Damon. Then... If she was stabbed right when the cage was lifted, that would explain this blood stain, right? Kind of, but I also kind of feel like there would be a bit more... Uh... Himiko did it! No. Isn't no. that... No! There would be a bit more commotion, I think, if she was just stabbed then. Furthermore, we saw the blood before the cage was lifted. Can you prove it? I didn't see no blood. I mean, I saw the blood. <laughs> Shut up. Uh, huh? uh, perhaps she wasn't killed during oh the Oh my stand. god! I'll kill you all! But the exact moment the cage was lifted. No! That is a possibility. All right, let me just lift up the the, the curtain here and uh, just stab Tenko and uh, then, uh, okay, no, I'm ready. <laughs> Who would have, how, how <laughs> could people have missed that? <laughs> you have to be kidding me. Now, this is what we're gonna do. This is what we're gonna do. This is what we're gonna do. All right. We're gonna have to waste time on this. There's a rock next to Tanko's body. This must be- The murder weapon! Please, rest your forehead <laughs> upon this stone marker I've placed here. Ex I'm the one who placed it after all. Me, right here, so I'll know exactly where the back of your head is. X marks the spot. Well, Maru marks, marks the spot. Circle, in this case. It's just a stone I brought from the courtyard. Are you sure it'll work? Certainly. It is merely needed as a marker for her forehead to rest upon. <laughs> um, like this? Tenko had her forehead on the rock, hunched over. She had to make herself small to fit inside the cage. You know, let's save this for last. Point taken. Tenko's dead body. She took her last breath, crouched over like this. According to the Monokuma file, her only injury is the stab wound to her neck. This wound was fatal. Hmm. This must have caused instant death. I didn't hear a scream during the seance. Oh, wait. Understood. I will not say a word until the seance is over. Would Tenko really keep her mouth shut despite the pain? Nope. Her death might not have been instant, but she couldn't have gone far before she bled out. Huh? What do you mean? What's the point? You were concerned about that, right? Okay. With a wound this deep, the victim is too shocked to do anything except die. Uh, um... You're speaking from, uh, experience? That's obvious. Of course. Quick deaths are my specialty. Well then, that makes sense. By the way... The real question is, what was she killed with? I don't see a murder weapon around. Yeah, that is a serious question. Yeah. And that's why we need to search everybody here. Exactly. I don't expect that we'll find anything, but you know what we'll definitely have done? Searched everyone here to see if they did have a knife in their pocket. Then in the trial, when someone's like, nobody could have had a knife in the pocket. <laughs> then we can actually say nobody had a knife in their pocket. Yeah. 
No, you're right. I don't see an obvious murder weapon. That could be a clue. Uh, okay, now we look for the obvious thing. She could have moved this herself, I guess. Possibly, possibly. This possibly could have been a response to... Being stabbed, yeah, yeah. I could easily see her willpowering herself to not make a noise because she was told not to open her mouth and say anything. Because she wanted to do this so much for Himiko. Yes, exactly that. Huh. This floorboard is loose. I guess nobody had actually talked about it or noticed it. And it's the one right under Tenko. Why? Why is this floorboard loose? Don't judge its life I choices. I remember correctly. Oi! <laughs> it wasn't like this before. It must have come loose during the seance, unless it actually got jostled loose the moment the cage was lifted. I will throttle you with no, both hands. No, this happened after the seance. I'll kill you. In fact, it happened It happened after the seance and before Tenko put her head on the stone. I will kill you so hard. Why? Why would it come loose during the seance? But... A floorboard this thick and heavy wouldn't have come loose easily. Then someone must have loosened it on purpose. Are we gonna check underneath the floorboard? Possibly? Really think that would be a good idea. Oh my god. And that's it? Oh are, my god! Are you people so dumb? Why does it have to be like this, Billy? Because it hates us, Damon. It hates us. It's the magic circle Korikio drew on the floor. Well, at least it was. Oh dear. It's been completely stomped over. I suppose it was unavoidable. Well... Was this drawn with salt? Yes. Whenever I perform a seance, I always use salt. What? Are you feeling all right? You sound ridiculous. Well, as someone who is versed in the supernatural and the occult, that's very common. Salt has, is rumored to have purifying and like spirit repelling properties. So when you're dealing yeah. about with spirits, you need some way to limit their field of mobility so they don't kill you for awakening them. Huh. Was there anything like that in Europe? I know uh, there certainly was. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's a European thing. Well, I, I mean, I know it's a, it's a Middle Eastern thing and an Asian thing. I know those parts for a fact, but I, I don't know the, for sure about Europe too. But I suspect that the, the idea of salt being a purifier or a cleanser is that, um, meat you can keep it a long time yeah. when it's just completely salted yeah yeah yeah. ridiculous ridiculous i don't sound ridiculous i have performed many successful seances why i've even had spirits enter my body I'm right already what was that sister <laughs> yeah he <laughs> that he may have had shut up i don't want to hear about your stupid delusions Maki really doesn't beat around the bush. It's kind of refreshing, actually. No, she beats people with the bush. But in any case, with all these footprints, I can't make out the original circle. So what? Eh, we'll find out in Kyo's lab. It should be written in the Cage Dog Village document. Hey. Isn't that right, Kyo? <sighs> he seems depressed. I suppose that makes sense. Does it? Well, he just didn't really respond either way. Uh. I mean, you could also make this thing. Uh, I could believe anything about it because he's had it memorized for years. Yeah. Well, that's everything here. Uh, no, there isn't. Uh, far left corner. Like where the far left corner behind Maki on the floor. No, oh, hell no. I saw it highlighted when you did the thing. No, I never noticed that. Here we go. Something new. There's a small opening in the corner of the room. It doesn't look big enough for a person to get through, but still, you take your plumbing snake and you no! just keep stretching it and it's got a knife on the other end. Is this? 
A hole? Looks like there's space under here too. Oh, hold on. I can see, yes! Called it! This is the corner Himiko was standing in. Ah. Uh, so in other words, whoever was standing in the part that had the loosish floorboards that was dangerous was going to be the designated killer. Yeah. Like that's who is gonna get framed. Yes, yes, yes. It would have been Tanko being framed for killing Himiko if this would have been the case. Yeah. I can see something below. It looks like something dropped down there. Huh? What? Something dropped down there? Was something dropped from here? Down there? I think something dropped down there. By the way, I I really would have to sit and like construct this area in my mind, but you seem to have immediately done it. Well, I am really good with landmarks. Uh, furthermore, another clue. When you see the scene of everyone putting the stuff together, you can tell where the candles are. You can see like the light pools from the candles. And that's also a way you can determine that what I said was correct. Okay, I was gonna say. Hey. Yeah, you, you've got to do this. Right? After we check everywhere else, why don't we go under the floor and see for ourselves? You're right. Right, let's do it. By the way. It seems pretty dark down there. Who should be used for light? <laughs> That's true. Let's bring a candle. With Kibo's light from up here, that should be fine. And we don't really want some robot going down there with us, do we? Oh, uh, that's robophobic. Yeah, that's how everybody else treats him, for crying out loud. Then I'll go get a spooky candle. <laughs> Remove that floorboard so we can go down. Okay. Okay, got it. I pulled off some of the floorboards near the hole and took the candle from Maki. Then we carefully made our way through the hole and under the floor. Yeah. Huh. Well, this is a lot more spacious than I thought. You can move pretty easily on all fours under all three rooms. So it wouldn't have mattered which room it was. Okay. Isn't that right? Doesn't uh, this look that way? I'm not 100% sure. Yeah, I it guess. doesn't really look like there's enough space. Okay. Uh, let's look around for clues. Well... It'd look pretty stupid if we found no clues after crawling around in this dusty place. Uh, okay. Yeah, but we're probably gonna find something. Uh, a, uh, si a sickle. Well... How'd that fit? Oh! Oh! Yeah, okay, so it's under... Okay! It's under all three rooms, so... So that means that it didn't matter which one they picked. All right. Because there is going to be access to this. Okay, well, we're basically, we're near-ish. So we'll just stop now, and that way we'll have enough time. Well, we don't go too far over, and the next time we'll process all this and... Uh, probably get to the trial. That'll probably be the end of it. Okay, cool. I don't want this trial to suck. Don't, don't make this trial suck, please. Does the trial suck? Hey!